Today we're talking about sunsets and sunrises. As a hiker, it's so magical if you can get to the summit of a mountain or get to a, an area on the trail where you can really witness the beauty and the power of a, you know, a great sunrise or sunset. And as a photographer, it's all about the exact same thing, but then capturing it on your camera. So you're gonna love this tool. It's helped me a lot, and I think it'll help you a lot. Stay tuned. Every once in a while, you come across a new tool that maybe it's been around for a while, maybe it hasn't, but you didn't know it was there, so it's new to you. I don't know how long this tool's been out there, but I just kind of stumbled onto it when I was doing a Google search looking for tools to help me predict sunrise and sunsets, and uh, it's been great. It's been great. I mean, it's, it's kind of simple, and there's definitely a lot that could be added to it to make it a much more powerful resource for us. Uh, but just as it is face value, it's still a very great tool. Welcome to an awesome tool. It's at sunsetwx.com. Again, www.sunsetwx.com. I found this website by just searching for tools for photographers for sunrise and sunset. And eventually I stumbled onto it. And what happens is you enter you know, your location and it tailors this screen for you. And this is obviously the United States. But what you're looking at are on the right is your scale. And you have red up at the highest and purple down at the lowest. And those are a quality sunrise or sunset. So you're getting lots of color. You know, you're getting lots of definition in the sky. And what you can see is, in, you know, in Southern California, you have great sunrise potential because this is for the sunrise. This tells you right here, sunrise quality. This is based off different weather models like the NAM. It kind of puts together all the information that it can to come up with the probability of a great sunrise or sunset. And you see all the blue areas. Well, they're not going to make for a very good sunrise today. And this is valid, I believe, as of 7 p.m. I think they update it twice a day. Forecast hours at 11, valid Monday, December 7th at 7 o'clock. And today is Monday, December 7th at 1.50. So it'll probably update again just after sunset. Speaking of sunset, we scroll down and it says your forecast uh, updated at 1 p.m. Okay, so it's going to actually it just did update. So this is for sunset this evening. And again, you can see Southern California, which they're known for great sunrises and sunsets for that matter, is definitely, you know, red and orange on the on the map as well as some of the upper coast of California and Oregon. The east coast isn't going to see much for sunset. You see most of it's blue. There's down in southern Florida, maybe a, a chance with some yellow there. But for the most part, we're not going to see a very good sunset. And that's really it. If you go up here, you can go to the United States sunrise sunset, which we were just looking at. But you can also go to global. So let's look at Europe's sunrise forecast. You can see we have a few more controls. We have play, previous hour, next hour, increase, decrease speed, and we have the actual forecast hour. So if we jump out 12 hours, we go down, and there's our map for, for 12 hours. And again, it tells you the time that it is done and how, how long it's good for. Let's try to push play. We push play. We're going to see this go into motion. And that's real nice because you can kind of see with motion in any weather, you can kind of see where the trend's going. So, you know, it may not be very good, but weather conditions are changing and we may get into something that's a little better by sunset. And I think, you know, they use that to, to forecast the sunrise and sunset. But it's nice to see it in motion because you can definitely get a more valid sense as to whether or not you're looking at something that's accurate and going to help you or something that's gonna waste your time. Again, you can go to Sunset in Europe, same controls. And here you'll see Sunset. You can put that into motion or look at it by different uh, hours. If you wanna look at the United States the same way, no problem. You just click the United States up in the upper menu, go to Sunrise, and now you're gonna have the United States. Same map, but now you're able to have those controls. You can say this is forecast hour nine. So if you wanted to change that, you could easily do so. And it also has worldwide. Now, this one's a little bit harder to really do anything with because it's so large. However, you can see if you're in Australia, 
you know, or some of the bigger areas where, you know, you definitely have a good idea as far as, you know, if this map is covering you or not, then this can definitely still be a great tool. It's just not as zoomed in, not as detailed. Again, you can put it into motion and you can do, you know, look at whatever forecast hour that you're interested in. Those are the main things of this website. They are the only things of this website. They give you these, these maps that can definitely help. As photographers or hikers, some of the most disappointing times are when you put a lot of effort into a hike or getting somewhere to capture a beautiful sunrise and sunset, and then you don't get one. Unfortunately, you're playing with a fine line of, you know, rather you get one or rather you don't get one because a, a sky that is clear with no clouds, no overcast at all, really doesn't make for a lot of wonderful color and definition. You want a sky that has some clouds into it. And this kind of takes that into account. It's going to give you the idea of, you know, is the sun going to be getting through the clouds? And a lot of times you see that, right? You're looking off in the horizon and there's lots of clouds, but between the horizon and the bottom of the clouds, there's a gap. And so when the sun can fill that gap, it creates just explosive skies with dramatic color. And that's what we're looking for. This tool helps you determine whether or not you're going to get into that window or not. It's going to give you an idea of how clear the skies are and then your chances for a you know colorful sunrise or sunset. Is this tool foolproof? Absolutely not. And there's a lot of additions, a lot of things they could add on that would really make this even better. But as a starting point, I think this is a wonderful tool for photographers and hikers to kind of plan their journeys to know rather the payoff is a high probability or a low probability. If you've been in hiking and, and you know photography long enough, I imagine it doesn't get to you as emotionally as it did when you first started out. You know, you put three hours into a hike, you get out in the middle of nowhere looking for that perfect shot or that perfect view and it doesn't show up. It's just a very, it's a bad feeling. It really is. And so these are tools, you know, a lot of times we don't have the luxury of, you know, saying, all right, well, I'll go today or I'll go tomorrow or I'll go the next day. You have today available and that's it. And in cases like that, it is what it is. You're going to get what you get and you got to be okay with that. But it is nice to have a tool like this if you've got a little bit of flexibility to kind of hopefully give you a little bit of an edge to get that beautiful shot that's going to really showcase, you know, the, the emotions and the feeling of when you were there at the time you were there with that explosion of color. Give it a shot. See what you think. Let me know your feedback down in the comments below. Let me know if you have a tool that we should all know about that might help make our journeys in both hiking and photography better when it comes to finding those sunrises and those sunsets that are just so epic. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can get something out of that tool. Uh, you know, it's a great website. I encourage you to, you know, submit some feedback to them. Maybe they'll grow it and make it a little more powerful. And if your area is not covered, maybe they will, uh, you know, look into covering more areas. But I think that's the kind of thing we need. We need to encourage. And by encouraging, I mean, let the people know that are developing these things what you're looking for. I know as a business owner, some of the best information, some of the most valuable information to me is feedback from those that we're working for. They give you that honest, this is how it went down for me. This is exactly what I'm getting out of your service or not getting out of your service. And it helps you make choices that can further develop your product to be more successful. So make sure you leave them some feedback. No matter whether you're hiking or taking pictures or you're like me and you're doing both at the same time, I hope this tool helps you and I hope that it makes your life just a little easier. If you'd be so kind to like the video and leave any comments or questions that you have down below, that kind of engagement helps me grow the channel. It tells YouTube, hey, people are engaging here. We need to put this video out there a little more. So I would really appreciate any feedback I could get. And another way to help me grow the channel is by sharing the video on your social media walls. Just click that little share button and send it. You can send it through your messenger, your text message. You can share it with all kinds of different people on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. I would greatly appreciate your help with that. It'll help me grow the channel, reach more people and inspire others. Guys, I hope you have an awesome week and I can't wait to see you on the next video.